everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know. And you guys, today we have an unboxing. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot. Today we have an unboxing. If any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on the video unboxing. I was not expecting to get this in the mail today. I knew that it had shipped, but the tracking said that it was still in China. So I had no idea that it was going to arrive today. And then uh, the nice a FedEx guy came to my door and said, here's your package. And I was like really confused as to where it was from or who it was by because I didn't order anything. But then I opened it and here it is. So this is from Songmon, as you can see. And if you have seen Songmon around TikTok, YouTube, they're getting pretty popular. Hopefully they're still very trendy and popular. A couple of months ago, they were all over my TikTok. I do believe that they are an Asian owned bag brand and their Luna bag specifically has just been viral. The box is really like beat up, which it's kind of sad. I wish the box would have been like taken better care of, but I digress. This is a blind unboxing. I have seen this bag on the website, but I have not seen it in person. I literally got this in the mail, put on some makeup, and then sat down to film. I was not planning on filming today, but I'm very excited that this came in. So it has this Songmont paper on the front. And then it looks like this. I'm so excited. I got the Luna bag, if anybody is wondering. That's like the most popular of their bags so far. It is so cool because you can wear it in four different ways and it's one bag, which is so cool. Here is one of the handles that you can use. It also comes with a crossbody strap. Here is the crossbody strap. It's kind of like a guitar strap because it's a bit thicker. Look at that. And then here is the actual bag. She is in this beautiful dust bag. The dust bag actually feels really nice. It's a different material than I have felt before. And then it has Songmont right there. And then it also has Songmont on the pull tassel. Oh, that's connected to the bag. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my God. I'm feeling how soft it is. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is my first time ever seeing it in person. It's really big. I was not expecting it to be this big. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is really nice. It is so soft. It kind of feels like velvety or like soft touch. You know how if you get like um, like a soft touch cup or a soft touch phone case or something like that. Oh my God, this leather feels really nice. I got it in the black, as you could see. And they also had it in this beautiful green. They had it in a yellow color and they also have it in a brown. And it has a little lock on it right here. And I don't think it actually locks or anything like that. And then you open it, it has a magnetic opening. Oh, and then here is the inside. It's got like a beautiful pop of green on the inside. I actually had no idea that it had this really beautiful pop of green on the inside. I did not know that. It has one interior pocket right here, not a zip pocket, just a regular pocket. And then here is just what it looks like without anything in it. It still holds its shape pretty well. It does have the Songmont logo right there. So first things first, let's attach the strap. So this is the main way that I will probably wear this bag. Oh. The cutest shoulder bag. Are you joking? And then you can take it off just like that. Let me see if I can get it up close here. So this right here, you just kind of pull it and it comes apart like that. It comes off, how cool is that? And then another way that you can 
wear this bag is kind of reminiscent of the mini Jody. So you can take these two corners, bring them in like this, snap it together, and you have a toe pin. <laughs> oh my God, I need to cut this off. This is also such an adorable way of wearing it. Now, I have a feeling that getting into the bag is gonna be kind of hard if you wear it like this, but it's an option. But look how cute. And then the third way of wearing it is you take this strap, put it underneath, and then you have it like this, or you can like put it over your elbow or have it like this a cute little top handle. Oh my God, it would just look amazing, so cute. And then of course you have the cross body strap that I am not sure. Oh, it goes on like this, I think. I could be wrong, but I think it goes through these little hoops, these, these little hoops right here. And then like this, you can wear it as a crossbody bag. I actually like how it's sitting. It's not like super long. Look at that. I actually really quite like the way that it's sitting on me as a crossbody bag. I usually don't love wearing crossbody bags. I just, I don't know, I'm usually somebody that would just much prefer to have a top handle or a shoulder bag or something like that than I would normally get a crossbody, but just from seeing this, I do like the way that it's sitting. It's not too low. That's nice. Okay. So I, let me go back to the shoulder strap because that is probably how I would usually wear this bag. But like you could totally take the crossbody strap with you. My Marc Jacobs, my crossbody strap is always in there just in case I want to change it up and put it on my shoulder. If I get tired of top handling it, then I have uh, some options. So here is the shoulder strap. I'm going to put that back on. Look how cool this is. The details also are really nice. You have this gold hardware and it says song lot down here on both sides. Of course, no feet on the bottom. And then it has the gold lock in the middle there. This was uh, $300 if I remember correctly. So it's not like a super expensive bag or anything like that. $304 and I used like a 10% off a discount code that they had at the time. So it was $277.20 for the bag and then it was $27 in taxes. So $304.22 and then let me actually go to the website so I can give you like the measurements and everything. Ooh, it's gone up in price too. So now it's 308, but it seems like they've updated their website since when I bought it. The website looks a lot more clean and it looks a lot more like professional. It looks great. So details. Okay, so it is milled fine calf leather, soft leather with a supple hand feel. Definitely, I think that's very true. It feels amazing. The lining interior is a microfiber leather. Again, really nice green interior. And it's matte gold finish hardware. It's fade resistant. It is not obviously solid gold or anything like that, but it is again, fade resistant. Now I wouldn't probably get this wet just because you don't know how it's going to handle in the rain. It is 10.43 inches wide, 9.6 inches high. Now I'm not sure if that includes the strap or if it's just the body. I'd probably say just the body. So about nine inches tall and then it is three almost four inches in depth so 3.94 inches in depth so yeah those are the measurements and then the weight is 1.1 pounds or 500 grams now let's see what fits into this baby i'm gonna go grab my bag now i have a feeling that this is going to fit quite a lot just because it is 
bigger than I anticipated. So I do think that it's gonna fit a lot. I have my Marc Jacobs tote bag right here. So I'll just start taking stuff out of it. First things first, I've got my mini pochette accessoire. I do carry this pretty much everywhere I go and I put it in every bag that I can. So she does fit in there no problem and then i do have my sunglasses case i have a feeling that this is going to be too big oh, no it's not it does fit i feel like it's going to be a little weird because it is like a crescent shape so the stuff that would fit in like a bag that's square at the bottom won't fit in this bag because it's a crescent shape i've got my ysl card holder that can just kind of fit on the side over here i believe Ooh, this does not fit as much as i thought okay so i took my sunglasses case out my card holder can go in here no problem it's right back there if you can see that i've got my longchamp coin purse that can go in this is pretty awkward to fit stuff in here because it is again that crescent shape so things that you think would normally fit fit really weirdly i've got my chanel hand cream i'm sure this will fit no problem just somewhere on the side i've got my airpods of course and i got this cute little leather case they just fit on top and then just a spare uh lip gloss so that can just go inside so that fits no problem just like that i did not put in my sunglasses case just because that won't fit inside i should be able to fit just my regular sunglasses like inside of like a microfiber case or something like that but that does fit no problem and you can see everything on the inside it, it does fit quite a bit oh and my phone i forgot my phone I normally have my phone in my pocket because I typically just carry my phone around in my back pocket. But in case I don't have pockets, I've got my phone in here, wallet, AirPods. The coin purse is gonna be a little weird to get in and I might have to leave the coin purse out. I mean, it is really malleable, like really squishy, so maybe not. Yeah, I just don't think the coin purse is gonna work just because it's too, weird of a shape but my chanel hand cream will fit in here yeah it'll fit just fine right over there and then let me see if i can get the strap in here i mean i got it in there <laughs> it's yeah yeah i got it in there it's fine i just feel like it's probably gonna be really annoying and it's gonna come undone if i try to take anything out so maybe i would just leave the strap home i, I don't need to take it with me but i've got my mini pochette accessoire i've got my phone in there now i've got my card holder my airpods and my hand cream and that all fits in there no problem so definitely not a small bag, not a huge bag, but not a small bag. I feel like she could get a little heavy after a while, but she looks real cute, guys. I like her a lot. And then how does she, how is she gonna fare if I twist her into a dumpling? Ooh, not bad. Okay, everything stays, but I wonder how it's gonna be to get your stuff out. I don't think it's gonna be that hard because it's kind of hard to explain that when I put everything in here, it's like every thing that I put in had its own spot. So I feel like the majority of the space in this bag is gonna be in the front. So it's not gonna be on the sides, it's gonna be in the front where you can kind of stack to go in the front of the bag. When you fold it inwards to make this little dumpling shape, you can still open the bag and everything that you put in hasn't moved. It is still in there the exact same way you put it in which is really nice. It doesn't seem like it gets distorted or any kind of thing like that. Now it is gonna be hard to get like bigger items. Like if I wanted to get my mini pochette out when it's like this, 
there's no way that's happening, I would absolutely have to undo this and open it up. But it still is super cute. So if you know that you're going somewhere for like a night out and you're not gonna be having to use your bag often, this is adorable. Are you joking? I love this. Very, very nice quality as well. But you guys, that has been my unboxing and like first impression of the Songmont Luna bag. I really hope that you did enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of this bag. Have you seen it online? What are your thoughts on this bag? Would you purchase it? Would you skip it? Just leave me a comment telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you again for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload and you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!